Babe, welcome to another episode of DIY Gigi where I create all things geeky and creative and show you how to do them. Today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Space Invader wall art piece. And these are super awesome. They're super easy to make. What you're going to need is a wooden cube. You're going to need at least 46 of these to create one little guy. Uh, I bought these on bulk online. I'll put the link in the description. These are one inch cubes. Also, you are going to need some type of glue. Um, in the video, I am using E6000. This glue works fine, but I would really recommend using Gorilla Wood Glue. Um, it doesn't have to be the wood glue. It could be just the regular Gorilla Glue, but this stuff really gets the job done. You're also going to need, if you want to mount this on the wall, you're going to need these little wall mount thingies, and this is for the final. At the end, you're just going to put it on if you want to mount it. I mounted mine, and last but not least, you're going to need these corner braces, and this is, these are just little L-shaped um, metal thingies that you can find at any hardware store, I suppose. I just got the smallest ones that were available to me. These are three and four, three-fourths of an inch. Uh, also, this was not last but not least, you're going to need paint, water, and brushes. I'm using acrylic paint because it just dries quicker. So, that's all the mats we need. Let's get started. When I was painting these wood blocks, I didn't want them to be completely red. I wanted some of the wood to show through. So the way you do that is just add a little bit of water to the paint, and it is really easy and fast to paint all the sides, so it shouldn't really take that long, probably about five seconds for each side. Like I said before, you will need 46 cubes. Once you are done with all your 46 cubes all painted and dried, it does really a cool pixel pixelated quality already to it. So what you need to do is just start gluing. Make sure you put a lot of pressure to it when you glue. I, I just had a picture up online of the Space Invader of my choice and uh, put it together. I did run into a couple difficulties where I messed up, but the good thing is, is with the A6000 it doesn't dry as quickly as the Gorilla Glue, so you can just take it apart and uh, fix it that way. Once your Space Invader is fully pieced together, add on those corner bracers. Just glue them on and let them dry for about five hours, depending on which glue you're using. Um, just so that they're extra secure. And then what I went ahead and did is after I put on this little back piece to hang on the wall, I went over again with the glue and added more glue to some extra spaces and in between all of the cubes so I can just ensure myself that it won't fall apart while it's hanging on the wall. So after all of that hard work, we have a Space Invader! And this is going to go on my wall. Uh, I am super excited to put these in my game room and start making it look cool. Uh, if you guys created something yourself, you can send me an email at iascupquick at gmail.com or a tweet at iascupquick. Um, of your creation that you created of your little wooden cubes. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope I did a good job explaining everything. Be sure to leave a like and a comment on what you think I should create next. Anything, any suggestions, ideas that you have, it's like if you want me to do something Adventure Time, which I think was the last one, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to create something along those lines. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake and I will see you all later. Bye!